look at that road, look at it. You could just become mesmerized by the straightness of it. After a while, though, we became bored by the straightness of it. There are 213 stitches on my door panel. If you add up all the numbers on my dashboard, it comes to 1,247. My battery is producing 12.9 volts. To liven things up, I decided to stop for some 11s. Corvette style. What are you doing? I've just laid these black lines on the road. And I bet you, you can't do longer ones. I bet you a million pounds I can. This is what this car's for. What are we doing? Well, you're keeping a lookout while he tries to lay longer black lines down the road than I've managed. Well, what if somebody sees us? I don't think they will. Ready? Yes. Here I go. <laughs> Hopeless. This may be harder than I thought. It's automatic. Right, back him out of the way. Let's see if May can do it. This will only go well. Have you turned the traction control yes. off? Yes. Have you ever done that in your life? No. I think it's very game right, to join in. I'll do lots of revs. Steering wheel straight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, cock. You are such an imbecile. What do you it's call that? I overcorrected. How well does that bode for Bonneville? You can't drive in a straight line. <laughs> Traction control on. We tried going back to being factual. Cows. But soon we ran out of facts. God, look, it's clouding over. Oh. After what felt like six years, we came across some civilization. Where Richard said he fancied an all day breakfast in a good old boy's American diner. And that gave me an opportunity to think of another thing we weren't supposed to do to do. All our cars have keyless go, so providing you have the key somewhere about your person, somewhere near the car, the engine will start. I think, however, that Dodgers are a bit crude. So Hammond's sitting there, OK, he's got the key in his pocket, you know he's left it open, so I don't have his key. OK, ready? I've got to re-park it. Not sure how far I can actually drive before the engine realises there's no key. But I think if I put it, I don't know, about here. Perfect. Sorry. With that factual test completed, we enjoyed a light breakfast and chatted about our road trip. How much are you looking forward to Bonneville? More than I've looked forward to anything in pretty much forever. I mean, it's, it's, it's... I've wanted to go there since I was a small boy. I'm going to buy a Corvette when I get to England. You won't. It was time to hit the road. Onwards! Is what? that what...? My car was there well, and now it's it? there. Did you leave it there? No, of course I didn't leave it in the road. I've got the... I'd go and get it if I were you. How the...? <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry. Sorry. That's weird. Back on the I-50, I rechecked my stitching. 18, 19, 20, 21. And James carried on moaning. A proper American.
American luxury car. This is some sort of ridiculous American interpretation. At the end of the I-50, there's another very straight road to Bonneville. But Richard and I decided it would be more fun to go there on the longer, twisting road through the mountains. So we'll go that way. Why can't we just go there? Look, James, Cadillac has never heard of Germany, OK? But despite that, this car has been round the Nürburgring in less than eight minutes. It's supposed to be the fastest four-door saloon ever. On those twisty roads, you'll love it. And you know what? On this astonishing road, he did. <laughs> All of a sudden, that stuff about limited slip differentials and magnetic suspension all makes complete sense. Oh, yes. But it's so planted. This is the best American car I've ever driven by a distance as great as that road. The lighter, grippier Corvette, however, was even better. Man, this is great. docile as this one is most of the time, be this exciting when the road gets twisty. But how is that possible? It's also such a joy to have all this power and all this handling in a proper manual gearbox. Those stupid flappy paddles. Simple traction control on or off. Are you listening, Ferrari? Well done, fat man from Kentucky. This is a masterpiece. Here, in the mountains, James and I had discovered we weren't really driving point-and-squirt muscle cars. We were in full-on sports cars. Richard, on the other hand, was driving a traditional muscle car. And he wasn't having quite such a good time. Ooh. Challenger's not really very good at this sort of thing. The steering, though, is numb, actually. It's quite numb. Meanwhile, back at the front, something amazing was happening. This is just a trip. Oh, my God, look at this. I just got overtaken. Sorry, mate, but you were spoiling the view ahead slightly. <laughs> now, that won't do. Up, Jezza. He is really shifting now. He's captain slow. This was way too exciting for the US government. And anyway, we had to reach Bonneville before nightfall. So we rejoined the main highway and went for it. was also too much for the US government. I just wanted to make sure that uh, you guys are doing the documentary. Oh, it is a documentary. It's not a, like a fooling around show, no. It's a serious show. Jeremy's sincerity wasn't convincing, and his hand gestures didn't help either. Everything you said, everything you said made it worse. <laughs> At one point, I wanted to just... Look, did I tell him we're doing a factual documentary? There's going to be no issues with the visa. What's really alarming is you've actually been quite entertaining. Oh, God. I wasn't entertaining. I've, no, I found you entertaining. Yeah, you were. I was being factual. No, you were being no. After that, we drove on in a factual manner, excited that soon we would be in Bonneville, the mecca of speed. And it really is a pilgrimage. I mean, for a petrolhead, it's that is hallowed ground. 